Hello everyone, right here I have a 2023 BYD Atto 3 Extended Range. And today I'm going to make a startup and full vehicle tour video of it, show you the features inside and out. So here is the key fob. Let's go ahead and start it up first. The Atto 3 in Malaysia does come standard with a remote start system. So to use the system, first make sure the car is locked, then press and hold this button. As you can see, the side mirrors are currently folded out. Upon locking the car, they automatically fold in. And upon unlocking, they automatically fold out again. The Atto 3 in Malaysia does come standard with BYD's version of a smart keyless entry and start system. So, just have the key fob on yourself. The car is currently unlocked. To lock the car, press the button on the driver's side door handle. And to unlock the car, just press the button again. Along with that smart keyless entry is a keyless push button start system. So to start the Atto 3, make sure the key fob is inside the car. Put your foot on the brake and press the start button located right here. An electric rack and pinion power steering system is what the Atto 3 uses. Standard for Malaysia is a synthetic leather steering wheel with a flat bottom design, red stitching around the inner rim, and sport grips at 10 and 2. The Atto 3 is equipped with a 1-speed automatic transmission. Front and rear parking sensors along with a 360-degree 3D camera system are also standard items for Malaysia. When the camera system is active, the rear camera, the rear 360-degree camera view, the front camera, and the front 360-degree camera view all feature active guidance signs. Below the single camera display, one can select the front camera view, the rear camera view, the left camera view, the right camera view, the front wide angle camera view, the rear wide angle camera view, or the left and the right camera views in a single display. Meanwhile, below the 360 degree camera display, the picture of the car can be turned transparent, the parking sensors can be turned off or on, and the 3D camera view can be brought up. In the 3D camera view, the camera angle can be moved around, and the wheels also move as the steering wheel is turned. Below the 3D camera view, more camera angles can be chosen. To the right of the camera display, below the panorama button is the button to access the settings menu. Safety features in the Atto 3 include 7 airbags, an interlock braking system, electronic brake force distribution, brake assist, an electronic stability program, a traction control system, hill descent control, a tire pressure monitoring system, an alarm system, and an immobilizer. Isofix child seat anchor points are found on the outer two rear seats. A driver assistance safety suite is present as well, and this one consists of an automatic emergency braking system, front and rear collision warning, blind spot detection, and rear cross traffic alert. The extended range variant comes with 18 inch 5 spoke 2 tone alloy rims. This Auto 3 rides on Atlas Batman A51 215 55R18 tires. The disc brakes are ventilated in front and solid at the rear. The suspension comprises McPherson struts at the front and a multi-link setup at the back. 
BYD Auto is a Chinese car manufacturer headquartered in Shenzhen, Guangdong, China. It is an automotive subsidiary of BYD Company. The name BYD itself is derived from the company's pinyin initials BRD and later on the backronym Build Your Dreams was created. While it started off by producing pure internal combustion engine vehicles, BYD currently concentrates on producing plug-in hybrid electric vehicles and battery electric vehicles. The Ato 3 is an example of a battery electric vehicle from BYD. The Ato 3 was first displayed at the 2021 Chengdu Auto Show under its Chinese market name, Yuan Plus, before it officially debuted in February 2022. While the Yuan Plus name is used in China and select Latin American countries, most export markets sell this vehicle as Ato 3. For most export markets in which BYD did not have a presence in before, the Ato 3 is the first product that BYD chose to launch in those markets. The Ato name was inspired by the Ato Second, the smallest timescale unit in physics. Riding on BYD's e-platform 3.0 that was developed specifically for battery electric vehicles, the Auto 3 competes in the C-segment crossover SUV category. At the Heifei plant on 15 September 2023, BYD produced the 500,000th Auto 3, a mere 19 months after its introduction. In Malaysia, the Auto 3 was launched in December 2022 as a 2023 model year vehicle, with customer deliveries starting in January 2023. Two fully imported from China variants are available, and they are Standard Range Automatic and Extended Range Automatic. The Ato 3 Extended Range comes with an electric motor powered by 60.48 kWh lithium iron phosphate battery with BYD's Blade battery technology. It produces 201 horsepower and 310 Newton meters of torque. 0 to 100 km power takes 7.3 seconds, and the top speed is 160 km per hour. Combined electric consumption for the Auto 3 Extended Range Automatic is 16 kWh per 100 km and the carbon dioxide emissions is 0 grams per km. The Auto 3 is a front-wheel drive vehicle. Exterior features of the Auto 3 include automatic manual leveling adaptive LED projector headlights, automatic high beams, LED daytime running lights, LED front and side indicators, LED sequential rear indicators, LED rear lights, an LED rear fog light, LED rear number plate lights, roof rails, and body colored door handles and side mirrors. Speakers down there and right there. Storage. That button operates the power rear hatch. Mirror controls. Central locking. And your window controls. All of the windows in this car are powered and all of them do have a full automatic function in both directions. Window lock. BYD floor mats and the driver's seat in this Auto 3 extended range does get full powered adjustments. All of the controls are located right down there. Dual Zone Automatic Climate Control System To access the Climate Control menu, hit the fan icon right here And right here we are in the Climate Control menu Fan Speed Different Modes Passenger Side Temperature, Driver Side Temperature Right above Fan Only Recirculation Rear Defrost or Heated Side Mirrors Front Defrost Maximum Air Conditioning Air Conditioning Automatic Mode Fan Speed On and to the right, you can select air conditioning, air purification, and bring up your AC settings. Mm -hmm. 
Below you have physical controls for your automatic mode, on off, and front defrost. Right here you can select your driving modes. This one is for your off-road mode. You have your regen braking right here. Right here is the auto hold function for the electronic parking brake. So say you arrive at a stop such as a traffic light or a traffic jam. The car is in drive, you lift your foot off the brake. With the auto hold function activated, the car won't actually move forward or roll back. Blind spot detection, parking sensors, and right here is the Auto 3's electronic parking brake. It is currently engaged. To disengage it, just simply put the car in drive and the parking brake will automatically disengage. And when you put the car in park, the parking brake will automatically engage again. Down below, you have storage, together with a power outlet, a USB-A port, a USB-C port, and in the middle, you have the SD card slot for the dash cam. You have a bit of storage right here as well. And this area also doubles up as your Qi wireless charging pad. The Auto 3 comes with an integrated touch screen head unit. The system features a 12.8 inch infotainment display, various media connectivity options, and navigation. The extended range variant comes with an 8 speaker direct HD sound sound system. The sound system that this Auto 3 uses is actually quite good. We are currently in the CarPlay menu with the current song playing information. Title, the artist and album will show up here if available. The album art will show up here again if available. If you play pause, go back a song, go for the song. Below, you can activate your shuffle and repeat options. As well as bring up your love and suggest us like this options. Playing next goes to your list of playing next songs. Hit back. To go back to your music menu with your library, you can look at your recently added songs, playlists, artists, albums and whatnot. And right above you can select playlists or radio as well. To write, shortcut buttons for your Google Maps, music and phone. And down below. Right here, we are in the main CarPlay menu where you can look at your phone, music, Apple Maps, messages, so on and so forth. To left, you can enter a destination, bring up your voice command, control your media, and your navigation is right here. And to the right, you can also access your Google Maps and WhatsApp. To go back to the main BYD system, hit the BYD icon. And right here we are in the main BYD system, Apple CarPlay is right up there. You have your high BYD system right here. Cancel. To go. Navigation. You can go to your home or work addresses by via the shortcuts down here. You can zoom in and out, you can search, look for an EV charging station in your various map settings. And below, you can have your temperature controls and fan speed control. You can turn off the display. Split screen. Turn the display into portrait mode. This one brings up your list of recently used apps. You can clear all of them by that button down there. You have your home button right here, and return button. 
is to the right. Down here, if you hit the car icon, you can bring up your vehicle settings with your internet settings, audio settings, display settings software information apps and more settings right here you can set your time um, settings with your language and whatnot down below And to the right, you can select System Settings, Ada Settings, you can turn off your Electronic Stability Control right here, as well as turn on your Hill Design Control, Parking Assistance, New Energy Menu with your Energy Manager, Charging Settings, Consumption Information, your consumption graph, vehicle settings with your smart chassis settings, light settings, exterior mirror settings, air conditioning settings, locks, and notification settings. Down below, your vehicle health, smart maintenance, overhaul, and vehicle information. You have your climate information down here. And apart from your navigation, you can also access your Spotify menu, as well as your radio menu. If you hit the bell icon, you can bring up your notification center and if you swipe from the top down you can adjust your volume and brightness turn on or off your parking sensors bring up your sunroof controls right here you can open up the sunshade You can open up the sunroof as a vent. Open it up in full. You can close it. You can also have your comfort setting for the sunroof. You can also close the shade right here. Apart from the sunroof, you can also bring up your energy feedback menu, turn on the interior lights, turn off the electronic stability control, turn on the automatic high beams, turn on off your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, settings, your automatic day-night mode, connectivity settings, mute, and cellular data. As shown earlier, this car does have power folding side mirrors. To fold the side mirrors in from the inside, press this button right here. Electronic central locking. Light and indicator controls. Bluetooth telephone control, voice control, seat track, volume wheel, different media mode selection button, and if you press this button, once the arrows come on, you can use the volume wheel to go between your total average electric consumption, your average electric consumption for the past 50 kilometers, acceleration timer, elapsed time, average speed, display off, tire pressure monitoring system, and back to your total average electric consumption.
This one brings up your camera system. This one rotates the display again. You have your adaptive cruise control controls right here. And this one is for your lane departure warning system. Wiper controls. And the steering wheel in this car is tilt and telescopic. You adjust it using this lever down here. I forgot to mention this earlier on, but the volume and power wheel is right here. Cup holders, front center armrest with storage down below, auto dimming, rear view mirror, LED reading lights, they also double up as your interior lights. And you have your sunroof controls right here as well. You have the shade. And you have the one for the sunroof itself. Sun visor for the driver's side does get a vanity mirror and an LED light. Alright, so I guess that's it for the startup. We can turn it off right now. And continue with the rest of the tour. Window control, speakers, storage, and the rear seat bags in this Auto 3 do fold. They split 60 40 when folding, and to fold them down, first make sure the headrests are all the way down. Then locate the straps on the sides of the outer two rear headrests. The one on that side folds down the left seat and the middle seat, while the one on this side folds down the right seat. Just pull it. and flip the seat back down. I did set the driver's seat to a position that I would feel comfortable in. I'm about 5 foot 7 which is about 1.7 meters tall. There is a bit of room to stretch out my feet underneath the driver's seat. As for leg room, I get about this much. And I get about this much in terms of headroom. It is actually not too bad back here. The seats are quite nice and comfortable. On the front seat backs are storage pockets. Rear aircon vents in the middle with a USB-A port as well as a USB-C port down below for charging and right at the bottom is some storage. Rear center armrests with cup holders and right above for both sides at the back are grip handles hooks, and the LED reading slash interior lights.
There are three ways to operate the power rear hatch in this 2023 Boot space in the Ato 3 is 440 litres with the rear seat bags in place. Fold the rear seat bags down, remove the cargo cover, and the boot space increases to 1340 litres. To the left of the boot is an LED light, and on both sides of the boot are storage areas. The vehicle also comes with charging cables that can be stored in the boot. Under the boot floor is more storage along with the vehicle's tyre repair kit and warning triangle. The front headrests are built into the seat, so adjustable headrests for the rear only. Window control, speakers, storage, and the front passenger seat in this car does get full powered adjustments as well, with all of the controls right down there. Nicely sized glove box. Grip handle for the front passenger. And the front passenger's sun visor does get a vanity mirror with an LED light as well. Alright, so that's it for the startup and full vehicle tour video of this 2023 BYD Ato 3 Extended Range. Thanks for watching and goodbye.